Most marketers think their content fails because of distribution. In reality, they're just completely creating the wrong content. In today's video, I'm gonna cover everything you need to know about creating amazing, valuable content for your audience. You may have heard of that saying, content is king, and I would agree with that. And as far as it's a solid foundation on which to market your product or service. Now, I've seen a lot of content over the years, whether it's from clients I've done work for or clients that have actually knocked back. And it isn't hard to see what qualifies as bad content. However, even the most clued up business owner might see content as a kind of tick box exercise. So almost like a chore that just has to be pushed through quickly and finished, but still somehow expecting they're going to get more traffic and sales through the website. Bad content normally looks like this. It's either going to be too thin, it's too advertorial, it's short and offers no value, and the worst is probably duplicated content. And the danger of doing this is the content is too thin, you're at extremely high risk of being hit by a Google penalty. And that's no matter how much you've manipulated your rankings and you really don't want to be hit with a penalty. So please do not copy and paste from other sites, pass it off to your own. Uh, this comes under duplicate content and you may also be hit with a duplicate content penalty. Somebody actually described what bad content looks like uh, and it was actually quite funny because they said it's kind of like when you watch an old movie from the 60s where the, uh, the starring actor swigs a can of coke or whatever the product is, smells at the camera and says, hmm, coke. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of like what bad content looks like. It's just unnatural, too editorial and just doesn't look right. You'll need to brainstorm a lot of ideas which you think would appeal to potential buyers of your product or service. You want to think about the kind of questions they might have, uh, pain points uh, they may be experiencing or just stuff which would interest them. Once you've created this kind of hub of great content, whether it's articles, video format, infographics or whatever it is, you can then reach out to sites and blogs that would be interested in that content, prod them to link to your content, and that should drive some super relevant traffic. But let's just, for the moment, focus on the foundation of the strategy, which we'll be discussing today, which is creating great content, which will hit just the right mark. We're going to go into a few methods which we can use to help us come up with ideas. So the first one would be to use something like Buzzsumo or Ahrefs Content Explorer. These are great tools and it can give you an idea of the most socially shared content for certain keyword phrases in your niche or industry. And the idea here is to basically create a better version of what's out there or something that just takes a unique angle. In this example, I searched link building techniques and this gave me the kind of top results, the most shared articles which had that keyword in it. The second technique is a quite an obvious one, but using Google. So generally, some of the highest ranking content for the keyword that you're looking to rank for does tend to be the best version of uh, that particular subject on the net generally doesn't always follow that same pattern for every keyword but generally that is going to be the best content so if you make something better than that and you have your own page done and you have some links going to it you have stand a very good chance at outranking it so for instance let's say patio installation guide Something like that. It's actually, I mean, that's a video, but, um, you know, you've got plenty of other ones here. And if you kind of use this as a basis for creating your own content, if you can make one that's better than any of these, you stand a good chance of outranking them. In addition to that, you'll have loads of suggestions down here, uh, which leads on to my second point about the autocomplete function and kind of suggested keywords as well. As you can see, click that you'll have all these other suggested keywords as well. But in addition, it's slightly different to the first set, which are actually suggested here. Put that. You can obviously see there's a plenty of other suggestions here for keywords, uh, and you can see that it changes slightly here again. So these are also quite useful in terms of thinking of ideas for content. 
Next are advanced Google operators. So for instance, if you want to search within a particular website for your keyword, that will bring up any page which is about that subject. Say we want to look in Board Panda. For instance, it's quite a large site. It has a lot of content about various different subjects. And we wanted to see if there was anything about, you know, pottery, for instance. And then if you click that, it will show you everything which is about pottery. And if you want to, you know, pottery Japan, for instance, if you want to do that, uh, it will show you everything about Japanese pottery. And you can do this for any website. And then you have plenty of other advanced Google operators such as if you want to see if there's a particular file type. Let's say we wanted to find the ultimate WordPress guide, but we want one that was in a PDF format. WordPress guide, put me a PDF, and then it will give you anything which has those particular keywords in it, and is a PDF guide. If you wanted to find something which had the keyword but was a blog, you could put the keyword, you put the keyword phrase and then put in URL blog. So we'll give you an example. Say we want to find pages, we want to find blogs about street fashion, for instance. So we could put this and it'll give us anything which is a blog. Obviously, you're going to see a lot of, you might find a lot of roundup posts. They in themselves may be useful because you can pull in examples from that. There's so many other operators you can use. This is just a small taste of what you can find. But by utilizing operators like this, you can get a lot of ideas for content through using advanced operators. It can also be useful to look at what other successful competitors are doing or particularly industry influencers, maybe people that are running blogs for your industry or have some kind of online magazine. However, you need to be careful of this as you're assuming that your competitor actually has some decent content. However, if you don't have any competitors that have good content, it may actually be a good thing. You just have to start producing it. Alternatively, if you kind of rely just on national or local business, uh, it can be good to look at successful high-ranking websites for your industry, which are in other countries, but in major cities. So, for instance, if you're in London, you may want to look at somebody that's really on top of the game in New York, for instance, or LA, some other major city. However, you have to bear in mind, depending on the industry, it might be that certain content will work better in that country and it may not apply to your own. Another good one is answerthepublic.com. It can be quite useful in determining the kind of long tail keywords that you should target. It will give you a lot of good ideas for content, but it does throw out a bunch of ideas which don't really make any sense. Just experiment with the kind of keywords that you're using with that. Another good one, Quora.com, a useful one for finding the types of questions people are asking in your industry or that are asking about that particular subject that you're looking to create content on. As a kind of sideline to that, you can even, if you have the content ready, you can even answer the question if your piece of content answers that question and it can actually drive a bit, good bit of traffic from that page. No matter the method you're using, though, there is no substitute for the human eye. So you always have to keep this in mind. Is the content useful? And if you were a customer for your product, would you take the time to read it? If you can nail up these kind of aspects, you can really create something which offers true value to your audience and your industry. And then once you start doing email outreach and asking for people to link to it, it makes the process a lot easier if the content is really useful. People will start thanking you for sharing something that's so valuable to them and you'll then start to find links just really, they almost roll in like clockwork. And if you continue to keep creating content like that, there shouldn't be any reason why you can't keep scaling up and building traffic to your site more and more. It can set you up as an authority in the field. It will probably, at some point, if you continue to do it, even make your website almost like the go-to hub for all advice for that particular sector or industry. And every now and again, you might even really have, really hit the mark with your content and have something which goes viral. And the social shares that you'll get from that will just, they only add to the traffic. The key thing is, just don't overthink this, but make valuable, comprehensive and or unique content. 
make sure it's non-salesy, it's relevant to your audience and above all else, don't make it too advertorial. Doing that alone is going to set it apart from probably 80 to 90% of other websites out there. Not every content is going to be a hit and some pieces are probably just not going to engage with the audience for whatever reason but that's all part of the process. You may create a piece of content which you think is really great, but then nobody wants to link to it. Don't be discouraged by that though. This happens all the time. It does happen with my clients and it's happened to me in the past, but with enough patience, testing it in time, you'll start to get a handle on exactly what does work for your audience and what will stand the best chance of getting links. So I'm just going to leave you with this kind of ending thought, which is, the links you get will only be as good as your website. So just something to think about. Thanks for taking the time out to watch this video. If you want to continue watching them and want me to keep making more of these, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.